Okay, welcome. Uh, this is part two of our exercise looking at the uh, 311 call data in San Francisco. And we're going to look at filtering, building tables, and a couple basic charts. So the uh, first exercise here is just to take the San Francisco call data and determine the number of complaints per year. So this builds on what we've already loaded on in the beginning of this San Francisco call data, the 311 call data. We, you, uh, if you're just loading this up for the first time uh, today, you know, run the tidyverse and the janitor, get your data imported, clean it, and build, uh, build that days table so it looks like this. Remember the days table and then go to um, then we build a little types table that types table looked like this homeless complaints all the different complaints right and uh, then we are down here to part two so uh, this exercise builds on what we've done in the past so using that days table i just wanted to show you a little trick on how to export a table into a spreadsheet. So it's called the write CSV command and you say what you want to write over here. You know any of these things you could export into a spreadsheet and then you give the name. So in this case write this baby. Write this wrong. There we go. And I have now that, that file is there just created it in that folder. Woo! Um, let's look at this. Okay, and this. There it is. The day's spreadsheet looks like that. So we have now exported that thing into a um, into a spreadsheet. Useful if you wanted to have our interface with other programs. So the next question will be to build a similar table to the uh, days table, uh, totaling the number of complaints per year. So we're going to be using the San Francisco data. You're going to write your answer in the code here and then export the finished version to a spreadsheet. So complaints per year. Let's look at um, what are the things we could use here. So call names is what I'm typing down here. Whoops. <coughs> call names, San Francisco. Crime ID. No. Original crime type. So what we're doing here is totaling the number of complaints by year, by year. So we will be down here looking for the column that says year and reconstructing this column by year. Huge friggin' hint. Okay, there you go. On to the exercise, the grouping by disposition. I want you to look at the radio code spreadsheet. So let's get this thing up, fired up here. Radio code spreadsheet. Radio code spreadsheet loads. Here we are. Here's the radio code spreadsheet. Remember this thing? Okay, here we go. So all the radio codes there. What else we got here? And we wanted to, um, we're going to total it by the disposition. So disposition remember the radio code spreadsheet had this um, let's bring this thing out here all the dispositions here you had abated and admonished and advised and arrest cancel can criminal activity uh, gone on arrival handled non-criminal non disposition no merit premises okay report called the medical staff couldn't find them, and the vehicle appears to be secure. 
So we built this little table here called action. Run the action. And we look at action. And we have all these dispositions that align with the dispositions here. So each uh, should have each one of these has a disposition. So what I want you to do is to describe some of the common trends that are, that are illustrated in the disposition data. So you're going to be using this table here. And any questions you might have for the police about this data. So you're going to look at these, these weird little codes here and try to figure out which ones are the big deals. And uh, just write a couple sentences uh, here, I would say, uh, describe in one paragraph. Uh, okay, great. All right, so going on to the next thing, we're going to create a table with the serious infractions described in a disposition. So here's an example of using filter statements to build a subset of that. We're taking the San Francisco data and we're filtering it on the disposition column. Here's the disposition column. And remember down here, disposition is, is one of our columns, right? So we're, and we're saying ND, you know, that says, according to this thing, ND, ND is new disposition, okay? And then there's another one called GOA. What is GOA? They're gone. They're not around. Okay. So we're just going to filter, make a little table here called nothing or uh, no people and uh, and just run this thing here no people no people shows up here and so there are quite a few of these complaints that they couldn't find anybody 35,201 okay so you see how that is built if you wanted just to do a subset of the uh, complaints that resulted in nothing. I want you to do, to take this idea of filtering and use this, these dispositions and create a new table with just the serious actions, including citations and arrests. So you'll have to, you know, alter these filter codes for serious actions. And there will be a couple more, but you can use this sort of chain them together and build a new table and, uh, and put that there. Okay, on we go. Basic chart of the crime data. I, I just kind of put it up here. This is using that years function. And, um, oh, my excellent dog just came up here. Okay, great. Uh, using the years function, and we're just building a basic homeless calls per year. So just to show you how it works on a basic level. So years, the x-axis on the horizontal is the year, and the y is the number of, um, of complaints. And uh, we put a little headline here, and then we put a little sub subheadline. I put my stuff here and all that. Again, the years uh, table is very simple. 2019 total, 2018 total, 2017. So sort of gives away what you should have done already. But there you go. And here we go. Got to run this thing. Here's the years. Come on, pop up here. What's your deal? There it is. Here's the year's uh, chart, and it just shows a big spike in 2017 on the number of calls um, for homelessness. So that's a basic chart. We can build charts using diplier filtering sequences to um, make more sophisticated charts. So with this, let's say I just wanted to cut out 2016. I could use a filtering uh, 
the operator in here. Say I just want the years to start at 2017 and then ch chart out the thing. So you got this baby kind of sandwiched on top of a charting thing. So it's basically the same chart, but we have a filter built on top. That shows you what, what that looks like. A more simple chart that cuts out 2016. So that's using Diplier and ggplot together. All right. Now, say you wanted to build a more complex filter, just kind of like looking at locations. So locations, again, let's bring up the San Francisco data. Locations are where these people were supposed to be. So um, Embarcadero Plaza, downtown, Bill Graham Civic Auditorium, you know, Fox Plaza, Ferry Park, Pier 28, all these common places in San Francisco if you've ever been there. So what we're trying to do here is, you know, there's some amount of these common locations that are just not available, and they're, they're the majority of the data set. So we want to filter that out. We want to filter out everything that is NA from common location and then count it. So if we were just to run this filter, these two lines, this would filter out all the ones that lack, uh, that, that have a NA for, for common location. And then we can count them up and we can do a top 10. So the, the function here, top N, says we just want the top 10 common locations. So here we go. So there's the top 10, not sorted in descending order, but the Har Harvey Milk Plaza is the biggest, uh, Jane Warner Plaza is the biggest hangout spot for, um, reported hangout spot for, for homeless in, in San Francisco. So this is a more sophisticated filter for, you know, four lines. And then we just slap on the ggplot thing below, the same real coding. So it's just filtering on top what you want to visualize. And this is a complex filter. And that gives us, uh, let's see if I can find that thing. Oh, there it is. OK. And so here are the top hot spots for homeless folks in San Francisco. Without that NA statement, we would have um, had a, a lot of, here, I'll just take this thing out. Just to show you what it looks like without the NA uh, filter, taking that NA filter out there. Um, zoom it. The not recorded happens to be 150,000 instances. And so it throws the scale off of everything else because everything else is just in the hundreds and this is 150,000. So what I did here is just disable that filter by commenting it, taking that out and running it again gives us the complex filter again. And we have readjusted the scale here down to 300 instead of 150,000 and now we can see all the detail. All right, so with that idea of a complex filter, I want you to chart the total dispositions. Dispositions here are all of the different um, radio handles gone on arrival, we handled it, we gave them advice, uh, so forth and so on. So I want you to chart those and then filter it for at least, they have to be at least 100 actions. There's gonna, you're gonna have to filter it by, by at least 100 actions using a, a, a filter and then add some color and export it. So there you go. Good luck with the assignment and I will see you Wednesday.